how much will it cost you to construct a 2,000 to 2,500 chickens poultry house capacity? That is what we want to discuss today. As we looked on the previous video, we are doing this project for a client. And in this case, we are doing a story poultry house. So in the previous video, I showed you the site and I showed you some of the things you normally look before we even start constructing the poultry house. Where we looked on the orientation of wind, we looked on the direction of the wind and we saw it is in the east to west. So we are going to go to the poultry house to look on the progress and what we have been able to do at day three. Today we are on day three. So we are going there and see what has happened. Guys, before we go there, my name is Lenson and I assist farmers allowing successful poultry farms. In the, in the past three years, I have been training you on poultry farming, on the improved Kenyaji breed, which I introduced, Sasso F1, which we breed in our poultry farm. We sell day-old chicks of Sasso F1 at 95 Kenya shillings. We also introduced commercial layers and broilers, which, where we sell the layers at 160 Kenya shillings, and the broilers at 100 Kenya shillings. And the good thing is this one. We are not only provide you with these chicks alone, we will ensure we deliver to you the best of the best. We ensure we offer you technical support and assistance, and we grow with you step by step out of the time we are going to go to the market. That's the beauty of work with us. That's why we are here to ensure even before you think of investing, you get to understand how much money are you going to need now to construct your pottery house. First things first, I did some procurements, and these are where the costs which we did. So come with me here so that you may be able now to see what we were able to do. So come with me so that I may be able to show you some of the things we procured in the first place. With me here, you can see we have some timber here. These are the six by one timber. And uh, one thing I want to tell you, the reason why we are seeing we have a lot of timber here is because we are doing a story pottery house. In this case, we are using the timber now, the six by one. You can also use by eight by one timber for the first floor. So this is the timber we are going to use for, for the first floor. With me here, we also have some other timber. We have some uh, three, two, four, two timber here, as you can see. And we have some three, two timber over there. This one we are going to use for the trusses. And we also to, I'm also going to show you another place where we are using them in construction of this pottery house. The other thing we procured, uh, as you can see, is the sand over there. So that's the sand we are using now for the foundation, and also we are, we are going to use it for the construction of the three feet wall height. One thing we normally ensure we do when you give us work, we give you a terms of reference and a quotation. A terms of reference is a structural description of the pottery house, how it's going to look, how the length, the width, the height, and everything. Like this house, we are talking of this house is 25 by 50 by 17 feet. That is inclusive of two feet now going now to the ground. So we have that description over there. We have now the, the, the wall height from the ground now to the ventilation, which is around three feet. And we normally do it at the first, uh, at the last step. So I want you, my guys to come with me so that you may be able to see what is happening. Let me climb over here. I hope I'm not going to fall down. Eh? So uh, I've just blocked the way. <laughs> so we are just going to go to the site to see some of the things we have been able to do from the first up to now. So come with me guys so that you may be able now to understand the most important aspects when it comes now to poultry farming in this manner. So come with me guys so that you may be able to understand what poultry house construction entails. As you can see, let me just uh, come here. We want to start with the most basic thing. Uh, just behind me are the engineers doing what they do the best. We are the best team when it comes now to poultry house construction. I just want to show you. The first thing we did in this poultry house, when we came here, we did now the we looked on the orientation of wind, then the, what followed now was the house setup. So guys, the first thing after we did now the setup, what followed now was the holes excavation. And I just want to show you something here on the holes, uh, because we want the house to last for a long period of time. After we excavated the holes, what followed now, we used a, glad, a gladiator, 
which is a now and termite to protect the, this pole from being attacked by termites to also increase the longevity. Not that alone, what followed, we also use now the PVC to ensure that it covers the whole, the whole uh, round pole, which now enter, the two feet which now enters on the ground, to ensure now the termites are not going now to eat this pottery house at the earliest uh, time possible, then the farmer might be required now to make another pottery house the soonest possible. So this is the most important aspect we normally start with to ensure that you don't make a mistake. Where you, we were wondering, where are we going to use the ballast? We used it now for, for concrete now the round poles and they also now for standing these. So for pottery houses, I've always advised to you, when you want to invest in pottery farming, don't make a very expensive pottery house. Make sure you have a simple structure and they invest a lot of money now in stock. In pottery farming, around uh, only 10% of the total investment normally goes now to the pottery structure. Around 70% goes now to feeds and around 20% uh, it goes now to the purchasing of stock. So I normally advise you to purchase the stock instead of building a fancy pottery house, then which is going to make you lose a lot of money. So come with me here. So as you can see, let's, as you can see these poles, they are very tall. In this manner, it indicates now we are going to have now our first floor at this point. As you can see, I want to show you something. You might, it might look like it's near, but I want just to show you the topography of this place so that you may be able now to see what is happening. If you see, there is a hole here. So when we'll be doing now the floor, we are going now to have this place being dug and the soil will go to this side before we even start the process of doing now the foundation. And that's how it's going to do. So if you come now to this side, just come with me so that you may be able to see what is happening. This is now the place where we are going to have our first floor. As you can see, you can see it's very high. And also the same place, the engineers are here on the site. This is the same place again. We are going to have the first floor. So we have ensured we give it the best. Come on this side, you see. I will not be able even to reach. So as you can see, this is the place where we are going to have our first floor. And this house is construct is not just constructed like the normal pottery houses. We normally start with the first floor when we are doing the construction. Uh, the process is very simple. After we do now the house setting, you we follow now with the hole, with the digging of the holes. Then what follows now is now having these uh, runners now running across the whole pottery house to increase the stability. Then we have now the first floor. So we are going now to do the first floor. After we do the first floor is when we are going now to do the, the roof. This is to ensure, because this house is very tall, around 17 feet, this is to ensure that if a person falls now all the way from that, it might not come now down to the ground. But we are not praying for that. We are hoping our contractors will do the work perfectly. We are going to hand over it to our clients in the best way possible with no casualties and the client will be happy to invest more in pottery farming. So that's the basic thing, but it's good not also to be cautious. So we are going to have it now constructed now. We're starting now with the first floor. After the first floor, we go now to the roofing. We do the trusses. After the trusses, we do now the high on sheet. After the high on sheet, we are now going to come now to the foundation. Then we are going to do the foundation. After we do the foundation is when we will be continuing with the finishing. We will have now the wire mesh or the chain link which we have purchased now running across this pottery house and we finish. We are also going to have a stair and we, the house is going to have some leaves on the eaves so that for AC folding of the taplons. I'm going to show you at the end how we are going to do them because I'm going with you step by step up to the final stage. So don't hesitate to make a mistake when you want to invest in pottery farming. Neo Hen Farms, we are your number one uh, pottery stop shop where you can get everything at one place without a struggle. Let's build this project. We are on day three. We are going to move step by step out to the final day to ensure that we deliver the best to our client at the end. So guys, this is the, this is the beginning. We are going to work together to ensure that nothing is going, is, is, nothing, everything is going to go well, nothing is going to go astray. So you can give us a call, you can give us work at any point, then we'll be able to deliver to you. We are still taking orders for day old chicks. For Sasso, we sell at 95 Kenya shillings. For broilers, we sell at 100 Kenya shillings. And for commercial layers, 
we sell at 160 Kenya shillings. And the rule is, we are going to ensure that we also train you on how you are going to take care of this chicken. Then we grow with you together up to time you are going to go to the market. So on the state, you can call my number, is here on the screen, and I will be glad to assist you launch your poultry farm. Let's meet on the next episode as we discuss on this construction of this poultry house. Thank you so much, guys.